All right, you'll never guess what's in those two boxes behind me. Stay tuned to find out. A 48 by 96 trailer from Harbor Freight that I have been searching for for months. Right now it's being sold at $349 has a carrying load of 1170 pounds, which is gonna be perfect. All right, so if this is the first time you've ever seen this trailer, or if you've never seen this trailer in this uh, stage of its life, I will share with you. Here's what comes with it. First thing, you have this manufacturer's origin, statement of origin here. You're gonna need that document if you want to register this trailer. Uh, Thankfully, in the state of Kentucky, where I'm located, I do not have to register this trailer, but I am going to hold on to that should I sell it to somebody else down the road. Second thing is you have these instructions, all right? So I'm, uh, I went ahead and put my manufacturer's statement of origin in that envelope as, along with the receipt. Again, it was 349, tuck that away. Now, here's the main frame of the trailer that's how it comes in the box uh, these two boxes were not included with the trailer but i'm going to install those on the trailer once i get it completed the winch and the swing back trailer jack those are not included with this trailer down here is the axle and also the hitch that's going to attach it to my truck over here are the tires that come with it mud guards spring uh, leaf springs right there these little things are caster wheels for when the trailer is in a folded position i am not planning on folding this trailer i do not have a need to fold this trailer i'm going to n probably not need those but i will save them for use in something else that's some parts to be used in the wheel area as well maybe on the frame that's the hardware the nuts and bolts this is the wiring harness the lights wiring kit the uh, license plate holder which again i'm not required to license it in the state of kentucky and that is i think that's i've covered everything so now what I'm going to do is get started, and I will show you along the way. Well, that's step one completed. That's the very first step on the very first. Well, actually, page six is the first part of the actual assembly instructions, and that is the very first part called the front bed rail assembly. And that is uh, the front, going to be the front of the trailer. It's going to be right in there. So my, my advice so far is I'm gonna just tell you that uh, what you need to do before you even get started is go ahead and set all of these out. You're gonna have like 78 of these jokers. You're gonna have two that are just a little bit longer. Okay. And you're gonna have four that's got a little hex edge on them, whatever that's called. So, um, all of these nuts are the same size, so they're gonna fit all of these, but just be aware that you do have three different types. They do not separate them. They put them all in that one bag. So just be aware of that. So that's my advice so far. All right, there's another part done. That is not attached yet, but I just uh, got it put together and it's sitting there. This is where you get into uh, another batch of hardware, so. Those nuts and bolts are basically for the frame, and then when you start getting and attaching other parts of it, and that's when you got more hardware. It's still not the best instructions I've ever seen, but it's not the worst. Well, guys, we have a trailer. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the assembly went pretty good. The last tire, uh, I think it was that one over there. I, I don't know, for some reason, it just had a hard time going on the axle. Don't know why. Finally, it did get it on. All right. Anyway, next step here. 
is I'm gonna put that jack on and then I'm gonna put that trailer winch on. And then my plans are, as far as the decking goes, I think I'm, I was going to put a four by eight treated plywood on there, but I really don't think I need a full sheet of plywood at this point. I might change my mind later, but I think for the time being, I'm just simply going to put some treated, uh, a couple of treated decking boards and I haven't decided in which direction I'm gonna put them yet. The Bass Raider is going to live on the bottom and eventually I'm gonna get a rack and then the Pelican Catch Power 100 is gonna live on top as well as I'll be able to carry that fella with me. All right, that's the progress so far. I'll check back in a bit. Well, Folks, that's all that's getting done tonight. I still have the lights to put on. And I've got to get some shorter bolts for my swing jack because obviously those bolts are too long. And i got to figure out what I'm going to do for the decking, how much I want to put on there. I don't want to overdo it. Otherwise, um, it took, I didn't even really count. I think I worked at least five hours on it. But uh, I'm happy with this trailer. I still have the winch to put on also. Of course, there's eh, a substantial amount to go. But there she is. That's going to be my dedicated kayak and Bass Raider trailer. That way, I can dress those uh, vessels out and just keep them in place without having to take them completely apart every time I move them. You would almost think that red is my favorite color. It isn't. Red is not my favorite color. I don't have anything against it. It's just I'm not going for red, in case you wondered. <laughs> now, I love my Mahindra, and I like this trailer so far, but red is not my favorite color. Being from Kentucky, I'm a Kentucky fan. I live close to Louisville, but not a Cardinal fan. Anyway, that's it for tonight.